an Edmonton-based biotech company, is changing the way food and medical products are produced. With new funding, Future Fields, which specializes in the development of recombinant proteins, is looking to compete on the global scale. Future Fields is receiving $11.2 million in private and government investments for construction of a larger manufacturing facility, freeing up space in their current building and amplifying production to compete on the global scale. Recombinant proteins are used in a wide variety of products, including vaccines and therapeutics, but can also be used in critical health research and food. Normally, the proteins are made in microbial systems, but Future Fields co-owner and CEO says this operation has a focus on sustainability. They utilize big, expensive, complex infrastructure called bioreactors. So what we do instead is we replace the bioreactor, the stainless steel tank, with a fruit fly. These genetically engineered fruit flies are bred in massive populations. Proteins of interest are then harvested and purified for their designated purpose. Anderson Barron says this method, which has been around for nearly three years, bypasses the limitations of traditional manufacturing. It's also much cheaper and takes up less space, making it more efficient. The fruit fly, uh, it's been used as a model organism for over 100 years now. And so because of that, there are a lot of existing genetic tools to engineer them that we're able to leverage and actually iterate on and improve upon for this application. Future Field COO and co-owner says the investments come at a time when the global demand for bioreactor capacity exceeds current capabilities. She estimates 10 billion liters of capacity will be required by 2030. The world's current supply sits at only 61 million liters. Our technology really circumvents a lot of the the current constraints and so um, we definitely see the investment as you know a signal that our technology has the capability to meet that demand in a new way. The new facility is expected to be built right here behind the company's headquarters in the downtown core. In Edmonton, Elliot Knopp, City News.